Hi, my name is Kelly Wayman. Today we're going to make a cardstock sunflower. This is a fun project because it's got some little details that make a big impact. Let's go ahead and go over the supplies. For supplies and tools today, we will be using the Cameo 4 and a cutting mat. And we need some medium weight cardstock in yellow, brown, and green. And then we'll also be using the Silhouette Spatula tool a piece of soft pastel chalk that can be any shade of brown or orange. We use a makeup blending brush, a piece of scratch paper, a soft surface like a piece of craft foam, and a hot glue gun. Let's go into the software. All right, so here I am in Silhouette Studio, and right now I'm in my library. The design we're going to be using is called Mexican Sunflower with foliage too. Um, this design ID number is 430808. And we're going to change it just a little bit from its original design, but this is the one we're using. So go ahead and double click to open. And I'm going to ungroup these with uh, ungroup on the quick access toolbar and ungroup a second, oops, ungroup a second time. Then I'm going to move these pieces off to the side that I don't need right now. We're going to cut these two main daisy or sunflower pieces out of yellow. We're going to cut this strip that will be the centerpiece out of brown. So I'm going to go ahead and in my quick access toolbar on the color fill, I'm going to change it to a brown color just so I remember um, that I'm going to cut it from brown. And then these leaves, I'm only going to use one and I'm going to make it larger. So I know I want to make it at 25% bigger. So the fastest way to do that is to go over on the right hand side, the transform panel and go to the scale tab. And while I have this piece selected, I'm going to type in my custom scale size of 125% then click apply and that's going to make it exactly the right size. And that will be cut out of green. So we are ready. That's all we need to go ahead and start cutting. Um, I am going to go ahead and put these all on the same cutting mat. So I want to turn on my grid, which I can do in the page setup panel, second tab, just click show grid. And I'm going to arrange these on my mat so I can cut them all at the same time. So I'm going to put my uh, yellow paper in the upper left corner, my green paper in the upper right corner, and then I will put my strip of brown down at the bottom of my mat. And that needs the full 12 inches across. Uh, to go choose cut settings, I'm going to go to the send panel. And for the material, you can choose any paper type and then adjust from there. I'm going to Go with cardstock textured heavy and that is showing a cut action and I've got my auto blade already loaded and it has detected that. I'm going to go ahead, if your blade is really sharp you can cut it on a three. I'm going to cut it on a four just because I've already done some test cuts. Force 30. Uh, speed I've bumped up to 10. You can go as high as five or ten somewhere in there should work fine. So this is all set up. All I need to do now is to load my paper onto the mat and load it into the machine and then click send. All right, so here's my cutting mat. I'm just going to remove the protective shield and place my paper on my mat the same way I had it on my virtual mat in the software. So my yellow paper goes in the upper left. My green paper is in the upper right where the leaf will cut. And then my brown piece of paper is going to go across the bottom. It's always good to make sure you have enough paper to match up with where you have um, placed it on your virtual cutting mat so it cuts in the right place. So now we'll just load this. Line up the left edge of the mat with the cutting guide, and now I can just click send. All right, 
that's done cutting and it looks like those cuts are good. I can tell by lifting just a little piece. So I'll unload that. And then we'll just take these pieces off the mat. You can flip your mat upside down. You can use your, uh, if that helps, or you can use your spatula tool to just help pry these off. All we need to cut for that sunflower. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this long centerpiece. I'm going to just put a crease along the center so I can fold it in half lengthwise. So what I like to do for that is just take the back of my spatula tool and just press. You can do it on a hard surface. I like it a little better on a soft surface, which is why I'm using this craft foam. And I'm just eyeballing it, just dragging a crease in half. It doesn't have to be exact. Just pressing a crease in there. Because the next thing we're going to do is fold it in half lengthwise. And so that crease really helps uh, make this fold easier. And now we're just going to roll this up. And if you are just placing it on the sunflower, you don't need glue in the middle because we'll be adding glue to the back. If you wanted to turn these sunflowers into uh, a standalone sunflower on a stem, what I would do is add a piece of floral wire here and glue it in and glue it as you wrap it. But we're not putting this one on a stem today, so we can just roll it. If you have a quilling tool, that could make this a little faster, but just rolling it with your fingers. I'm doing it pretty tight. Uh, it doesn't have to be really tight. We might loosen it up a little bit once I've rolled it once. I don't want it to be too tight, but we'll be able to flare that out a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I've just rolled it and now Grab my hot glue gun. With my hot glue gun, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here at the tail end of it, a little bit under in between the fold too. And just press that on there and hold it until it gets nice and solid. Okay, so there's our center. We'll come back to that in a little bit. For our petals, because it's cardstock, it's really easy to just cut these in two pieces and then we'll get these layers. But we're gonna take the uh, spatula tool again. For these petals, we'll take the spatula tool and Again, with the end of it, I'm going to press three creases onto each petal. So one down the center, and then one to kind of follow the curve of the sides. And these don't have to be precise and beautiful. It's just a little bit of texture. So one down the center, and one to kind of follow the curve on each side. What this is going to do is kind of look like we've got some veins in our sunflower petals. And it's going to pick up the chalk when we get to that point and give some nice detail. So you can absolutely just leave your petals flat when you're doing paper flowers, but Anytime you can take the time to add just a few details, it really makes a difference. 
So one, two, three for each petal. You don't want to press so hard that it tears through your paper, but you can press pretty good, especially um, with a soft surface underneath. Just two more petals. Okay, there's our last one. So now we have three creases on each petal. And what we're going to do is flip them upside down. So now the creases are kind of poking up. And I'm going to move the scratch paper over. We are going to just take the chalk and it's soft chalk. So you can just gently add a little bit, maybe a third of the way up your petal, maybe halfway up. You don't need to color the center because that's going to get uh, covered with our brown center that we've rolled. So just a little bit of chalk. You don't have to push very hard. And we'll do that with the second set of petals also. And you can you can actually bring it up all the way if you want. You can experiment and see uh, what looks good to you. But I would generally keep each flower um, fairly consistent how far you're bringing it up. Okay, so now we'll just use a makeup blending brush. You could also maybe use a Q-tip or uh, just some soft sponge, but I like the makeup blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of rub that in there and drag the color up a little bit, up the petal. So just blend it in. And we'll do that also with the second petal set. And you could use more than one color if you want, uh, or you could use even a dark orange, there's where the variety is completely up to you, what you want to do with it. I kind of like the brown on my sunflowers, this orangey brown. Okay, and that's all we do for coloring. And now we'll finish shaping these petals. Um, we're actually going to put a little bit of a curl into each one. I'm just going to drag my spatula tool. Just a very light curl. Just drag it, the spatula tool between my thumb and the tool and then at the center where it touches that circular center, I'm just going to add a little, just bring it up. And you don't want to drag your tool so hard that it removes those little embossed stripes we've put in there. Just a really gentle curl will work. You could even use a pair of scissors to do that, like your curling ribbon. Okay, and then once we've got those two layers, we'll just grab, we'll just grab the hot glue gun again, once we have those two layers, and add some glue to one of them. Then you wanna make sure as you're pressing these together that you kind of offset the petals so the layer behind is not evenly stacked up with the layer of petals in front of it. You want those to fill in the gaps behind there. Okay, so that is our petals. And then the center, we're just going to add some hot glue to the back. Press that on there. Try and get it fairly even in the center. And then once that's there, you can actually use your thumbs and press outward. And just kind of flare that out and that can get bigger. If you really like a large sunflower, you could actually cut two of those, a, a large sunflower center, you could cut two of those centers and make it even bigger. And then finally, We'll add just a little bit of uh, chalk coloring to the leaves. 
just very little bit. And this one on the leaves, I put the color on before I put any shaping because we don't need strong veining colors in brown on the leaves, just a little accent. And then you can add some veins to your leaves. Just to press down the center and then some little veins to match up the little ridges in the leaf. Then that can be just folded a little bit along the center to give your green leaves some shape. Do a little bit more curling if you want. So it all kind of curls away from the center. You won't see very much of the leaf. We're going to glue it behind the flower. Just add a little bit of hot glue right on the end there. And then just press it on the back of your flower. There you have a sunflower. So now at this point, you can use your sunflower as an embellishment on a box or a bag. I brought this little bag that I can just attach my sunflower or you could make a whole bunch of these sunflowers and maybe glue it to a wreath form and make yourself a sunflower wreath. But I think it's really cute on something like a box or a bag. present as a gift. So thank you for joining me today um, in making this sunflower. Again, my name is Kelly Wayment with FindingTimeToCreate.com. Uh, if you'd like to see more flowers or more projects, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I hope to see you again next time.